All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the private ages. Once again, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you may be. Control came out this morning, and I just woke up. <laughs> and uh, let me just check something real quick, because I went all in with this game, and I bought a special edition, which came with the tactical response gear and crafting resource pack, Exclusive avatar, shift in palace dynamic theme, which is quite nice. That's what you get for the pre order. Uh, the digital deluxe edition includes the main game and the extra DLC pack, which contains exclusive side mission, isolation, urban response gear, two expansion packs, the foundation and AWE available post launch. Each pack includes new story content and side missions, as well as new weapons and mods from the world of control. Also received the following extras on release. Rare service weapon mod, rare player mod, astral dive suit. Hmm. <coughs> so you got the digital deluxe edition, then uh, post game DLC will be available as soon as it comes out, obviously, or a download if you've got auto download set up. Now, I've been to turn off music for copyright issues, but mute copyrighted music. Smart move. Very smart move. So I've muted the copyright music. Let's see if that actually holds up. And let's just jump straight into it. Subtitles, yes. Start new game. And this is on a PS4 Pro. But I can't get HDR because I've got uh, the old school day one PSVR headset set up and the PSVR processor doesn't, because it's connected between that and the TV because of the way it's set up, it can't enable HDR. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I'm gonna try and I shut up when they're talking. Out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. 
I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? You got dress camera, box standard. Only just started, but still, gra I've got to say, graphically, it looks nice. But then, it's from the people that made Quantum Break, which I played back when I had an Xbox. Prohibited items reminder. Oh, assets. Alright, I've got those for materials. Missions, you do not have any missions. Correspond collectibles, so four types of collectibles. Alright. Certain objects are allowed are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on proven murals. Unauthorized weapons. Duh. Pages, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, number two pen number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept? Rubber duck. What? What? Why is that? Oh, God's sake. <sighs> the government's really trying to keep a lid on everything. So, yeah, it's what? Made by the same people that did Quantum it's Break, still. which. I saw it a long I had time ago. I keep seeing it in my dream. Played briefly on Xbox. And I enjoyed it, I'm not gonna lie. But also Remedy, so that's the Max Payne group. Toggle L3 to sprint. Yeah, a lot of detail is in this, man, it looks good. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Oh, the doors around the other side. I thought that was a gap I could go under, but no, the blind's just partially up on the window. <laughs> I'm an idiot. At least it kind of, you got the marker to show you that it's a collectible that is a bit more visible than I'd expect. See, right there. Just let me know there's a collectible. That's nice. So, there's going to be a fair few collectibles from the looks of it, but at least they're going to be somewhat easier to... assistant you need to go to the interview go that way to the elevator thanks elevator that way got it very good <clears throat> i'm a the janitor by the way you work for me you can say god that it. looks so good if they don't hire you later you are relevant there be work for the axe Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Well, there's... The elevator. Any other rooms I can go in? Wait a minute. I was about to say, that felt like impossible space, was that? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this just a different entrance, or did the room just change around? That. Hmm.
Yeah, what the hell, man? What's going on already? The cell and the poster. So no, she's talking about the Shawshank Redemption. The first time I saw behind the poster, they told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Starring Courtney Hope. <clears throat> Art director Jan Polkinen. Is that person related to Ari Polkinen who did the music for Next Machina? you there for a moment you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him so is the all right that that's gonna worry me a little bit is that gonna be like a beyond two souls kind of thing we got going on here now Proof technology reminder your shot. God, there's a lot of collectibles. I say as this room has absolutely none. <laughs> Yeah, because you want to investigate a room where you just heard something that sounded like a gunshot. And there shit, was one. Shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Audible's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. <laughs> Melee, all right. She's got a powerful hand. Oh, hello. Didn't see you up there. Trophy and choose to be chosen. Okay. Now I have a gun. And let me guess. Alright, I have L2, so I'm guessing L2 is. Yeah, L2 is in. Oh. 
Uh, square and reload it just. Alright, the service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. Good to know. Oh, you got hit hard, pal. <laughs> See you later. Get out of it. Enemies drop health elements when damage collect health elements to restore health. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here I know quite a down you came here looking for something safe to go. Or looking for someone love but I wouldn't be happy to be involved in this shit Getting in with the freaky, are we? You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Thank you. That was. Horror. Okay, so yeah, there's a Beyond Two Souls vibe here. Gun design looks awesome, I've got to say. I mean, just look at it rippling. And, can we get... and how its recoil looks. So very day. Stuck in already. Unref undefined reading. Oh, hello. See, look, through walls, it told me that this was here. I 
Nope, nah, that's a toilet. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building ship, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Building shift? Two, I'll listen to that later. <coughs> Dinner reservations. Uh, I think they've just been cancelled. Shelter. That's a very obvious safe room. Oh, mate, you've seen better days. Marshall AWE investigation. Shatter recoil efficiency. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, I like that. Sound that tried to invade me earlier. I don't know why, but I just it's like the look of that. Kind of like everything in this place. Making Is it seem like a chapter enemy? or a right, TV episode. That babble's contagious. <sighs> Which reminds me, I need to finish Peaky Blinders season four. Makes you hum it over and over. Because season five just started. So the only way is down. <clears throat> yeah, that was obvious. What the hell? Oh! Grenades! We got magic grenades up in here. So you're a bit tougher than the regulars. Oh, Jesus. Where are you at? I'm just going to cheese him. Oh, I almost died. I didn't even look at my health. We're just going to go into it anyway. Don't ask questions, love. Okay. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Interact with Clint's store health on death. Jesse will start from the control point last assessed. Last travel. Outfits? Civilian, tactical response. Oh, astral dot. Oh, that looks nice. Please talk to me. You know what? That looks cool. Whoa, that looks dope. All right, yeah. This is our outfit from here on out. Is it safe to come out? Yeah, I'm a badass. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody <clears> so <throat> The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out.
Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is <clears throat> no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. Because okay. we're awesome! <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's. I Language, can't Pope. Even. Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe be infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the. She's got a young Michelle. Uh, Pope's got a young Michelle Pfeiffer look about her. I like that. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. But then Michelle Pfeiffer's always yes. really looked good. God damn. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. And Jesse's got a Katie Sackoff kind of look. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Yeah, well, let's see if no, nothing in there. Push the out. Hey, floaty. I... Oh, you look like you've seen better days, definitely. Being forced into a yoga pose? Let's see if we can fix that for you. This card. Jesse, over here. Hey. <clears throat> I can't cleanse them. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I look good in this outfit. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time, and very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. 
a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench? The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone? A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. That's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a director. Oh, I was night manager for a year. Why Trust me, here? I'm not really the manager type. I think you already know. It happens for a reason, Jess. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. So what, do we still Magneto's jail cell? We just turned it into like a little corporate telephone room? It's a waste of space. Trophyan, welcome to the oldest house. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There yep, no well, it just said open loadout. So, loadout. Assets. I've got quite a few. Missions. Unknown caller and the communications department to find hotline. What the heck the balls I got? Damn, six already here. One case file, service weapon. Acquisition date. Now is that August the 4th or the 8th of April? Get rid of all these markers because I hate that crap. Stupid questions. So, loadout. Grip is reliable with semi-automatic fire that is deadly at short and long range. Oh, hang on. Astral reload. Reload speed plus 16%. Damage boost plus 17%. That could always be good for me. Shatter re recoil minus 5%. You know what? We'll equip that. And we only have one mod slot. Personal mods. Astral health boost, health plus 25%, health recovery on elemental pickup, 20%. Those health shards that they drop seem to give a lot, so we're going to go with that. And we have our loadout ready to go. Uh, grip is reliable with semi automatic fire that is deadly at short and long range, and I haven't got any. Thing to unlock for it yet. The door to the so, yeah. department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back. All right, can I ask you any some the anything in particular? Be in the communications department. Yeah, you just told me that. Director Trench objects, power headrooms. Yeah, all right, let's Thanks, just go. Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Yeah, no doubt. Sector uh, toggle map. 
Well, it's shown me right there. <laughs> this. So, at least you can see on the map where you're moving to. That's, I like that. Right. Oh, hello. There it is again. A welcome message. Damn you. Got the drop on your power. For security, you sure are. Right? Wait! Behave yourself. Trying to pick up a house memory. <laughs> so we'd have to go through there. But what the hell is up here? Oh no! No, that hurts. That hurts. Forget that. Overpowering here. Oh, it's a locked room. Wait a minute. Can I pick up the health that they drop still? Yeah, I can. Oh, hello. Oh, I missed everything then. Didn't miss you, did I, pal? Or you? What? 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 Who? Get out of it. And you. Anyone else feeling lucky? Hi, you! I'm not feeling lucky. Oh. oh. Through here we go. <clears throat> what on earth? I heard some light ominous music, which means we're probably going to bang that. Oh, Jesus! Shielded! God damn it, that was... Oh. God damn, dudes. Dead letter approval. Dead letter approval? Oof. Doesn't sound pleasant. I'm going to have a... Even in the darkness, it's so useful. Singing fish. Hmm. Sounds somewhat pleasant. Wait a minute, can I go in? Nope. Shut. Damn it. More undefined reading. Uh oh. Cleanse control point. Look 
at it, eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by wow, our <laughs> <laughs> you kidding about it? Wow. Launch codes to Soviet nukes. All right, now it's become more terrifying. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Okay, so let's find this old ass powerful floppy disk. <laughs> first things first. Alright, we can fast travel to wherever the hell we want, as long as we've opened up another cleanse point I'm gathering. So I would have to go through there, down the left, and then down. But I might take a look upstairs up there at the top as well. But it's been 42 minutes, Jesus. <coughs> Pardon me. So, I'm going to call it a day here for now, but then, like I said, this is my first look at the game. Other than, like, the gameplay demo and the trailer. I don't even think I watched the full gameplay demo. But, yeah, initial thoughts. Graphics look amazing. Controls feel smooth. Uh, doesn't feel like there's any delay on them. Sound is great. I enjoy the audio option for muting copyrighted music. Uh, dialogue between characters seems pretty solid. Uh, story, in terms of how much story there is and backstory there is, it seems like there's going to be a lot through all the collectibles. Which is always nice for a single player game. I've got a lot to read. And a lot to listen to. I've got plenty of materials. I've got your loadout, which you're going to have to upgrade. We've got DLC coming soon. Well, actually, I say soon, I don't know when it's coming out. And I've got a PS4 exclusive mission, which I will try and get around to do after I finish off the main story. But yeah, so far, first impressions, I'm glad I spent 58.49, because at the moment it's, well, from the people that, I mean, Quantum Break got its good and bad reps, and I enjoy Quantum Break. Max Payne, obviously, I loved Max, the Max Payne series. But this has also given me a... Uh, an Echo kind of vibe. Have anyone ever played Echo? If you haven't, you should go check that game out because that's pretty good too. But yeah, this is Control. I look like an awesome in-game version of Katie Sackhoff, even though it's not her. And uh, I shall see you later. <laughs>